Hello everyone, what's going on? I'm Gav from Master 974 back again today and welcome to another Valve Source Code tutorial. Today I'm going to be looking into miscellaneous flashlight related coding changes. So first and foremost I do need to give a thank you and big ups to Modded Prop and HaHaJXJD9289 for some of the suggestions that are going to be shown in this video. And I also need to give a massive thank you to Waddles as well for providing some codes specifically related to the flashlight lagging effects that I'm going to be talking about a little bit later. So what I'm going to do to start with is outline how you can add headlights to the Jeep because it seems as if there was supposed to be the ability for the Jeep to have the headlight effect and it seems to have been disabled so I'm just going to quickly outline how you can add that. So first and foremost you want to go to vehiclejeep.h now I don't think this is included in the game's solution but what you can do is open up vehiclejeep.cpp and then right click on the cprop jeep class go to definition and it should take you to vehiclejeep.h and inside of this file you should see three functions uh, headlight is on, headlight turn on and headlight turn off and for the headlight turn on and headlight turn off functions you want to remove what's already there, which is that M underscore B headlight is on equals true and M underscore B headlight is on equals false. You just want to remove those sections and make sure the semicolon is at the end of the function declaration. And then you want to go to vehiclejeep.cpp and inside of the precache function, you want to add precache script sound of and inside of speech marks airboat underscore headlight underscore on and precache script sound of inside of speech marks again airboat underscore headlight underscore off then you want to go down to the drive vehicle function and you want to uncomment what Adrian has put here which is that if UCMD arrow impulse is exactly equal to 100 then if headlight is on and then you do headlight turn off or boys you do headlight turn on. So you just remove the forward slash asterisk and the asterisk forward slash to make that code valid. And then it doesn't really matter where this goes but you want to add a void called cprop jeep colon colon headlight turn on passing through void inputs and you want to do emit sound of inside the speech marks airboat underscore headlight underscore on and then M underscore B headlight is on equals true and void C prop jeep colon colon headlight turn off again passing through void inputs and you want it to do emit sound of inside of speech marks airboat underscore headlight underscore off and M underscore B headlight is on equals false and then inside of the exit vehicle function you want to replace headlight turn off with if headlight is on, then headlight turn off. So essentially what this does is it restores the headlight functionality for the buggy, the Half-Life 2 Jeep, if you will. And essentially you can just press the flashlight key and it turns headlight on or off. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So now I'm going to move on to a suggestion that was made by Modded Prop which was to make it so you have the flashlight instead of coming out of the player it actually comes out of an attachment point on a weapon view model. So this is what you would see in games like Left 4 Dead or Left 4 Dead 2 where there's a flashlight attachment on the weapon and the flashlight effect comes out of that flashlight attachment. So that what I figured out to do this was to go to c underscore base player dot cpp which is a file on the client and you want to find the update flashlight function and you want to find where there's a vector definition for vec forward vec right and vec up and essentially what you want to do after this is add a c underscore base view model called asterisk vm which equals get view model and then you want to encapsulate the existing code inside of an if statement that reads if exclamation mark vm which basically means the view model is invalid then it does the standard flashlight drawing effect of coming out of the player but then after that you want to add an else statement and inside of that else statement you want to add this 
So you want to create a vector called vec origin and a Q angle called angles, and then do int attachment equals VM arrow lookup attachment of, and then inside of speech marks, the attachment point in question. Now, because I don't have any access to view models that has an actual flashlight attachment, I'm going to be using the muzzle attachment and that would illustrate the effect better, I would say. So in this case, I'm putting muzzle inside of the speech marks, but if you have a view model with a flashlight attachment, then you would change that to whatever that attachment is, for example, flashlight. Then you want to do VM arrow get attachment of attachment vec origin angles. And then you want to do angle vectors of angles and vec forward and vec right and vec up. And finally, do m underscore p flashlight arrow update light of vec origin, vec forward, vec right, vec up, and flashlight distance. So if you compile the solution at this point, then what you will see is that the flashlight draws from the muzzle attachment position, and that actually changes based off of what the view model is doing, such as firing and reloading. So if I use the 357, then that would be a pretty good example to show the flashlight actually kicking when the gun fires and moving when the gun is reloaded. So if you want to actually have a little bit of flashlight lag, thanks to Waddles for this suggestion, then this is what you're going to need to do. So also on the client, you want to find flashlight effect.h and before the function void light off, you want to add a quaternion called m underscore quat priv orientation, as you'll see in the video. You want to add a bool called m underscore has priv orientation. And what I decided to do was add a void function called handle flashlight lag, which passes through an input of a flashlight state underscore t called and state. And I'll get to that a little bit later. And after this, you want to go to flashlighteffect.cpp and near the top of the file, you want to define a couple of convars. So I'm going to do convar r underscore flashlight lag, and then in brackets and in speech marks, r underscore flashlight lag, then comma, in another set of speech marks, one, comma, zero, as you'll see in the video. And the second convar is r underscore flashlight lag amount. Again, in brackets inside the speech marks, the same thing, r underscore flashlight lag underscore amount, comma, and then brackets 0 0.1, then comma 0. So essentially, we're creating a convar which has a value of 1, which defines whether there should be flashlight lag or not. And the second convar defines the magnitude of the lagging effect. And so a smaller value would mean there's more lag. And the high value means it's more like what you would see normally. So the lag is not very noticeable. Then what you want to do inside of the constructor is add m underscore has prev orientation equals false at near the bottom of that function. And then you want to find the update light new function. And after the line state dot m underscore fl shadow depth bias, whatever that says, then you want to add if r underscore flashlight lag dot get ball and exclamation mark engine arrow is paused, then handle flashlight lag of state. So what is this handle flashlight lag function going to do? Well, let's actually add it. So you want to add void C flashlight effects, colon, colon, handle flashlight lag, passing through an input of a flashlight state underscore T called state. And we're going to say if M underscore has priv orientation, then we're going to do quaternion slur great function name and you're going to pass through inputs of an m underscore quat priv orientation state dot m underscore quat orientation r underscore flashlight lag underscore amount dot get float and state dot m underscore quat orientation hopefully as you'll see in the video and then do an else statement and in that add m underscore has priv orientation equals true and outside of that if statement and else statement do m underscore quat prev orientation equals state dot m underscore quat orientation. And lastly, inside of the turn off function, inside of the if m underscore b is on section, you want to add m underscore has prev orientation equals false. 
So what this does is it adds a flashlight lagging effect as I've previously stated. If the R underscore flashlight lag con bar has a value of one, if it has a value of zero, then no lagging effect is going to happen. And as I already said earlier, a lower amount means there's going to be more lag. So it's going to be more noticeable, but a value of 0 0.1 seems to be good. Now, one of the last things I'm going to do is, and the reason why I did the handle flashlight lag function thing, is if you actually, for whatever reason, wanted to have the airboat and Jeep with their headlight effects have a flashlight lagging effect as well. So what I've decided to do to accommodate for this is go to the C headlight effect colon colon update light function, which is also inside of the flashlight effect.cpp file. And essentially after the state.m underscore n spotlight texture frame line, and you want to add pretty much the same thing that was inside of the C flashlight effect update light function, which is if r underscore flashlight lag dot get ball and exclamation mark engine arrow is paused, then handle flashlight lag off state. So by making that change, vehicles which have flashlight effects or headlight effects, such as the airboat and now the Jeep from following this video, that they would have lag with their headlights as well. So that is purely optional if you want to do any of these things, but that is pretty much this video about adding flashlight or headlight related functionality in Source 2013. So as always, hopefully you found the video informative and helpful. Massive, massive thank you to Waddles for coming up with the flashlight lagging code. And again, thanks to Modded Prop and Haha JXJD9289 for leaving comments on these videos and making this happen. So as always, peace out, take care out there and hope to see you for the next video. Have a great day.